sort of squall system happening over here, which I think is going away from us, which is okay. We did have another squall happen over here, which seems to have dissipated a little bit. Flying along nicely. Today's doing some Caribbean research. Mum is, oh, up. there's the rain. Here comes the rain. Oh, oh, oh. Whilst it's raining and I'm inside, I thought I would let you know how we communicate and how we get our weather update. So this little box is called an Iridium Go. It's made by Iridium and it's effectively, I suppose, a hotspot, like a router hotspot which allows my phone to connect to the Iridium satellite network. So we've got this little lever here, which is up, which is the aerial. As soon as you lift the aerial up, it switches on. And you can see the screen there. It uses the satellite signal that it, this is, that the Iridium Go is receiving to receive text messages, emails, and weather updates. It's been nice to be able to still send a text and we can make a phone call. So we can phone call, text, email, and receive weather. And it tracks us, it's got a GPS tracker. So that's how we communicate and get our weather when we're out at sea with no phone signal. But it's been squall dodging today and last night. Last night was interesting. Yeah, I just had a squall. That yeah, was mental. Yeah, that was crazy. We're soaked. <laughs> we're literally soaking wet. It literally looked up. I felt the boat rumbling. I looked up doing over 10 knots. And then it went fast and fast. Then I looked at the, the wind, it was like 20 something knots. Mm. And I went the way to Jura. And then a couple of waking up. So I come wait, right, wait to wake Then I turned around and looked at the thing, the wind dial, it was 30 plus knots. Oh my god. That's why I quickly had to pull the Kojira. Yeah, get the jenny out. Gotta get the jenny out. Close all the windows and hatches. Yeah. Mental. Yeah. We registered about 40 knots of wind during that squall. So we decided to everyone to have a good night's sleep, just run with the Jenny. So we've lost a couple of miles on the rest of the crew today, which we're trying to catch up. But safety first. Um, everyone had a good sleep. The Jenny's easy to reef, just one person. You can use the electric winch. So that was the thought process behind that. But yeah, we are halfway day today. We've all just had a nice Bailey's coffee, which is morale boost. Anybody have any questions for us about the Atlantic crossing or crossing the Atlantic preparation or everything else? Let me know. Here we are. The crew's eating dinner. And we just had a narrow escape from this squall here. We've been watching it for a while and it's passed that way. We think, or we hope. There's a squall coming! So it's looking after the cushions. And it's keeping me warm. Nice. Seven knots. Loving life. Right. It's time to get these night watches started. We're just in a squall at the moment, so me and Stu are in the saloon. Steering the boat according to the wind angle via our little steering buttons. We try and keep the wind directly behind us. One, because our sail plan is set, so we need the wind behind us. And also, true wind speed 15 knots and apparent only 10, so it gives us a lower apparent, which is less stress on the rig. So we're in here, nice and warm with the kettle on. Well, we've actually boiled the kettle already. We haven't shut the door. We haven't shut the door yet, just in case we need to. Get the code zero in. We're in the squall. But there's a lot of tension on the light wind sail, so we might dial it in. I was just having a look. Yeah. You alright, Alfie? I'll put mine on. 
get some strength back in it. I, I, I physically can't grab, so I can pull if you can hold. Yeah. Right, ready? She's loosening now. Well done, guys. My forearms physically couldn't couldn't <laughs> grip. Well done, Adele. Thanks. You couldn't have done that without you. <laughs> I didn't do anything. But it's the communication is key. Yeah. Crying. Teamwork. <laughs> I was really crying. Teamwork. Isn't it? I was definitely missold this trip. <laughs> Jay. Jay. Well done. Jay. <laughs> Out. He hasn't got any wrists left. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, morning. Stu's in the galley doing the washing up. So he's just cooked porridge. Jaylan is out here. The Madre is here. Hello. And so we have seats. As always, you can't see the size of them on the camera. We had one hell of a night last night. School after school after school after school. And lightning, which no, no one told me about the lightning. Jay just did. <laughs> I wasn't going to. We got the code zero in. It was a bit of a disaster at first, and we managed to furl it up. And then the wind died. Then we got it back out, and then we furled it up again. How are you feeling? Okay. <laughs> you doing well though. How are you, Jay? All good. Good, 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 good. How are you, Stu? Yeah, all good. All good in the hood. Yeah, How you doing, Alf? All good. All good. I'm gonna go to bed. She's away. How'd you sleep? Right. Oh, the wind's dropped, so we're thinking of flying the Code Zero and the waves have dropped, so we shouldn't be getting that broach. Yeah. But if the pilot can't handle it, then we'll stick the main up. Wait for the wind, wait for the night. Stand here a while, take a little time. Since you went away, you came to a heart. Silence is everywhere, and you're not. And now I'm running like there's no tomorrow. Oh, boy. Rice, fish, <laughs> salad, oranges. oranges, olives, oh, cheese. cheese. Mm. Looking good from here, and uh, good luck on the rest of the race. And if we see you in Martinique, we'll buy you a beer. Yeah, a beer uh, a rum. <laughs> you can have a rum and a beer, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I've been a good in the city. Yeah, and you, if you need us, just give us a call. But uh, yeah, good luck with the race and speak to you soon. First shift, so I want to um, be fresh as a daisy for the first shift, you know. And get your beauty sleep. Get my beauty sleep. <laughs> Have fun. It's a little bit rocky still. Yeah, but if we can fly the Code Zero on tonight, we'll make up. We'll make good haste, and then um, after today, it all it eases up. Only get the ball. There you go. After the day, it only gets better from any luck, so uh, yeah, it's fine as it is. Anyway, you're Bye. interrupting my sleep. Keep that on the journey, yeah? Yeah. Bye. Believe me, wait me.
they should be passing us. If not, we'll wake Alpha and get the code zero down ASAP. You okay? School just coming in now, so just there near us. So we're getting the G zero in. Come on, Alf, you can do it. <laughs> Get the Jenny out. Good call, guys. <laughs> There's another one in front of us forming. It's gonna be all night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sailor of the day, Adele. Sailor of the day. I did call that. Yeah. I think it's Good night, Al. Good night, Al. Good night, Al. Good Wait for all this to go and then we'll reassess it later, a couple of hours. Yeah. See you, well, see you at 10. You <laughs> okay? <laughs> Good night. Right. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm a little bored today. I think this is like day eight or day nine. Bored and tired. And wet. nice in the first few days to not have any internet and signal but after five days I just wanted to do work and feel productive. I've just been waiting for the time to go, counting down the days. Each day you just get more and more tired from doing all the night shifts so it's just been a bit boring. Um, but we're nearly there now and it'll be worth it for sure. Just got a few scores coming in. Don't really know what else to say. There's nothing else. Nothing else to really report. Every day has been the same.
Yeah. We have a new crew member on board. I feel sorry for me, needs to have a bit of a relax. He looks very, very tired, that little bird, so. I'm not gonna video him because I think his camera's shy. New crew on board. But the last crew that we had, done that. I'm not happy with that. He's not got a balance in really, is he? up. She did want to banish the bird but we've all, me, mum and Stu have all said that the bird can stay. So we're going to try and give it some water. As long as you clean the paper. Yeah, come on let's get it. Go around and do it. We've got to go slow. Maybe put it like on, on that cushion. Slowly, slowly, it's starting to fly away. He's going, oh. He, your, your hair scared him. He's going to, he's going to, enough. He's going to the front now. Yeah. Yeah, so we're done. Oh, there he is, there he is, oh, 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 back again. Doesn't matter how lucky you are, bird. Smell the old fish. Ooh. He said he wants some soy sauce and wasabi, please. <laughs> On landing, we've put food on the top and food in the dinghy, so he can definitely eat when he lands. Is your room open? Yeah. You've got to go, mate. Oh. <laughs> you know your place, Ben. You're a stowaway. You stay outside. just taken over from me. So when we're sailing across, we, there's always somebody awake on board just to make sure the weather doesn't blow up, the wind doesn't pick up. We do three hours on, six hours off. We start at 10 and finish at seven. But we're like two or three days out now, so excitement is starting to set in. Uh, I've just finished my shift, tired. I'm going to have a quick shower and then get into bed. Yeah, 
She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company?